Here we've got a boat aiming himself straight across a river, which is 120 meters wide, and his still water velocity is 8 meters per second. So that's without the current. Whatever direction the boat points is his still water velocity. Now the river is flowing at 6 meters per second to the south, so straight down, and we want to know how long it takes for him to cross. We're trying to find time. Well, we only have one equation for these types of problems. D is VT. My displacement is my velocity times time. Now we want to try and solve for time, so it becomes fairly simple. Time is D over V. And we've just got to decide what to put into that formula because we've got few velocities here. We've got the river, 6 meters per second. We've got the 8 meters per second moving across the stream. We've got 120 meters. We've got to decide what goes with what. Well, let's have a look at what the equ equation will look like. The still water velocity of the boat combined with the river velocity creates his overall velocity with respect to the shore or with respect to the ground called VG. And once again, these two, because they're vectors, would be drawn tip to tail. So if I was to draw a quick little diagram off to the right here, it would look like this. He's traveling straight across horizontally at 8 meters per second. However, simultaneously while this is happening, the river is sweeping him down at 6 meters per second. So those two are added together tip to tail, right? Always tip to tail when you're adding together vectors. And my answer, we'll put in pink, my overall ground velocity goes from the start of this diagram to where I finished it. So my resultant it means the boat's going to get sheared off down at that angle, and that'll be VG. Now, we have one distance, 120 meters, and we want to know how long it takes to cross that river. You have to remember in this vector diagram, all of these velocities represent the same boat. What it's telling you is that the boat is traveling horizontally at 8 meters per second. Vertically, he's being swept downstream at 6 meters per second. And then along this diagonal, when you put it all together, there's his final velocity. Now we could work that out. We could use Pythagoras and get an answer there. But we don't need to. We just have to recognize what to pair with our 120 meters. How fast am I going horizontally? Because that's the displacement that we're given. It's a horizontal or across the stream displacement. How fast is this boat going in that direction? Well, the answer is 8 meters per second. In the 120 meter distance or displacement, his velocity is 8 meters per second. So when I find time, I pair the 120 with the 8 meters per second, and I get a time of 15 seconds. The trick is, when you're using this equation, d is equal to vt, you have to make sure that d and v are parallel to each other for it to be valid.